guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking about ad mats and whether you should make notes for ad mats and all that. And I just found this book and this is the book that I used for Form 4 ad mats. It has all the chapters in Form 4 right here and it's very complete. And I'm just going to do a flip through of this book. So if you're interested to purchase this, the information will be down in the description box below so you can contact me via Instagram to purchase this book but basically today I'm just going to show you what I have inside of this so here's the table of contents you can see that my handwriting evolved a lot actually from when I was form 5 from when I was form 4 I was 16 that time but basically from 4 ad additional mathematics I have the table of contents here and then I marked every single chapter with this sticky note so it's very easy to flip through and then we have chapter 1 and I kind of gave myself the examples as well and I use all these colors just to make it stand out and so these are very concise notes actually because there's only like 10 pages for one chapter but I made sure that it was very clear and that I understood every example so in my opinion if you can actually understand the examples that I give in this book, it will be very helpful for you. So you have the second page and I also um, did an example of what is wrong as well because in admins you need to know what is right, what is wrong. So I have these and I also have made little notes for myself, do not connect dots. And if something is really important, I would write it down in red pen and underline it twice. So I was pretty organized back then. And then, yeah, there's more notes. And then as we proceed into this flip through, you will see that there are certain formulas which I bracket with red pen. These are like very important formulas that um, I want myself to remember. So that's why I used red pen. So we have everything. Um, and I also wrote little notes to myself like function plus inverse will become object and I use diagrams as well to make myself understand. As you can see here, I have written tip here and it's in this red bracket again. So if something is in a red bracket, that means it's important. Then I have more here, chapter 2. There's only like 1, 2, 3 four pages for chapter two, I kind of concise everything into really compact notes so that I can go through everything. So in this book, there's a total of 78 pages. And then as we go on, okay, for example, this one, you can see that I wrote a little note to myself, bring out the two first. As you solve the problem, you'll find out why I write this. Um, when I do it, I try to identify the things which made it difficult and I would write a little note to myself here. Then as we move on, this is chapter 3. I kind of used like red and blue bands just to make it stand out so that it's more interesting and it's not too difficult to change in between two color bands. So yeah. And as we go on, as you can see, when something is very important, I highlight it twice, like point, it's a point, not a value. So that's why I highlighted, um, underline it twice. And then we move on. Indices and logarithms. And then we have some of the important results that we have to know. and some type of questions as well. Some type of questions might be, for example, express A in terms of B and C, and I have an example showing how to do it, and I've numbered the steps as well. And then this is chapter six, coordinate geometry. And if you see here, these are the important things that I kind of underline in it, uh, in red. Um, and this is my graph. 
I was really meticulous with this um, notebook. I even included graphs inside here because for this chapter, you really need graphs to understand what is going on. So I drew the graphs and marked it in red pen so I knew exactly how to do everything. So yeah, that's pretty much the um, AdMats notes that I have. Every chapter is marked, so you can flip through it very easily. I put a lot of effort into this one notebook. And if you're interested to purchase this, I will make this available. You can, you can just message me via Instagram if you want it. Um, I just thought that maybe this would help some of you guys out if you don't have like a set of notes that you can really trust. I find that this set is really quite complete and I label it nicely as well. So I will be selling photostatic versions of this book and I will of course label it like this as well for your convenience. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.